What's up, folks? Welcome to the 29th episode of Tales from the Archive on Handle Arbor Games. My name is Zach from Another Letdown Media and the Adjacent Hex Podcast. I will be your host this evening. Tales from the Archive is the show where we use the medium of Sentinels of the Multiverse, the digital game, to tell a story of some kind. Some will be tales from the actual Sentinel storylines, and others will be totally original and or based on previous work. For consistency's sake, I do try to match each story up with an existing Sentinel Comics book title that has been mentioned previously by either Christopher or Adam or both, but by no means does that make them real or official canon or anything like that. You can kind of think of this as the Earth-603 Sentinels of the Multiverse. There will be often, from time to time, there will be times... There will be times, occasionally, when I make a play that doesn't make a whole lot of sense strategically, but because it contributes to the narrative we've created in some way. I will do my best to win games, but even heroes fall sometimes, and that just makes for awesome and fun and exciting stories. As with all the shows on the Handle Arbor Games channel, we do believe in civil rights for absolutely everybody and being as inclusive as possible, so any uh, comments or activity actively working against that goal is not welcome and will not be tolerated. So, without any further ado, let's open Ye Olde Book of the Multiverse and get this party started. <laughs> yes, that's the word I was looking for, Seamus Butler, thank you. Um, I'm going to assume by that you can hear my voice then. Um, we were having some audio difficulty, as you can see from the chat, or, well, as you'll be able to see in chat in a minute. Uh, anyway, I'm sort of all over the place today. It's been a really long week, so you're going to have to bear with me a little bit, but... Uh, today's story is called For Fear of Foul Feasting. Hopefully I never have to say that again. Uh, I teased it last week, so some of you know what's coming up tonight. While we were planning the annual stream Teams Giving feast, feast, several of the junior operatives unearthed a book that was probably hidden away with good reason. Rather than being in the regular archive vaults, we actually found this one tucked inside an old battered copy of Odd Bits, How to Cook the Rest of the Animal. Yes, it is a real cookbook. Um, we're not sure why we have a copy of that particular cookbook, but we didn't want to race, waste stream time and resources figuring it out, so instead we put the book back and dove into the comic instead. Of course it was a guy's story. Why wouldn't it be? It opens with a shot of a, a pile of parchment rolls on a desk. Two hands dressed in what can only be described as violently purple and yellow excuse me, Victorian-era clothing, seize a pen and begin to write. Dear sirs, madams, and everything else, be it known that I, guys, will be holding my annual Thanksgiving Day celebration feast extravaganza. No need to bring anything. I've taken care of all of it. The camera pans out, and we see guys dressed in a ridiculous Victorian suit. He puts down his pen and stands up from his desk. Oh, hello! I didn't see you there. Welcome to my home. I, pre pre I presume you're the new help I ordered. Amazing what you can afford when Megalopolis National extends your credit line. They just keep, th keep throwing free money at me. It must be because I'm the greatest hero ever. Come with me. I'll show you to the kitchen. You'll be hanging out there. Don't mind the mess on the floor. The panel shows a strange track of red goop leading toward the kitchen. Isn't this place just perfect for a huge party? I figure I can invite, well, everyone. There's no point in discriminating on a holiday like this. Hero, villain, morally ambiguous print shop guy. Everyone's invited. Here you are. Make yourself at home. The other staff will be along shortly. He disappears around a corner and comes back a panel later, dressed in what can only be described as a purple jungle explorer, uh, described as a purple jungle explorer, complete with a handlebar mustache, pith helmet, and comically large elephant gun. If you'll excuse me, I need to find our main course. If you need me, don't! He leaves the room chortling to himself. The panel, representative of the reader, looks around and finds nobody anywhere. Guys pops his head in from outside the frame. He's back in his regular hero in costume again. Psst! Hey you! You really should follow me! It's all about my ego! Seriously! And also, this story's not very interesting if you just stay here. Go on, off you trot! The panel shifts outside, and we see guys in his Jumble Joe costume marching up and down in front of several assembled sharpshooters, notably Expatriate, Chrono Ranger, and Parse. One of my stream agents believes that Ambuscade may have been on a rooftop in the background of the panel, but we haven't been able to confirm or deny that yet. I suppose you know why I've called you all here. You all possess an innate, ahem, <coughs> talent for picking off big game. We're off to Insula Primalis in search of the biggest game. Not the deadliest, the biggest. 
And I'm not talking about your mother, or the minions of the moon, or whatever they're calling themselves this week. He turns to Expatriate. I'm talking about the rumors that there's a pterodactyl living there. We're gonna hunt it, kill it, and prepare the best dang turducken the world has ever seen. Any questions? Parse looks up quizzically. What sort of recipe f for ter turducken calls for pterodactyl? Bly's guy, blah, blah. guys blatantly ignores her question and shoots and shoes everyone into what appears to be an ordinary cardboard box with the word teleporter crudely scribbled on the outside. A blinding flash of light f fills the next panel, and the heroes spill out all over the ground on Insula Primalis. Guys pulls out an enormous magnifying glass and a butterfly net with a battery pack attached haphazardly to it, and begins examining some of the plant life around their landing site. Our quarry should be nearby. If this feces is any indication, we probably have to head, he spins around in a circle several times, this way, south. Parse whispers to Chrono Ranger, isn't that way west? Just humor him. With any luck, we'll get to abandon him here. Guys proceeds forward through the underbrush, assuming he's hot on the trail of a pterodactyl, when suddenly he comes face to face with a soft yellow sort of something. The panel shifts out and reveals... Deadline. <laughs> Tear duck in. All right, so game one tonight, we see uh, the villain Deadline versus Guy's Chrono Ranger expatriate par and Parse in Insula Prime Malice. Let's get this party going. All right. So Guy's is going to start this game with... I can do that too. Let me see that. Look what I found. And where did I leave that? Chrono Ranger's got a brace of displaced armory, Jim's hat, and kill on sight. Uh, Expatriate has arsenal access, hair trigger reflexes, quick draw, and shock rounds. Parse has between the lines, critical multiplier, impossible shot, and quick calculation. Now, hey, Lord Flashfire got here in time. Woo! Um, so. Yes, there's definitely the alternate win condition of kill the pterodactyl. Um, this is one of those awesome ones where the actual outcome of the game does not if, uh, impact the plot in any way, shape, or form. So I am going to try to actually pay attention tonight. Um, but you got, you got my regulars all know how well or not so well that ends up, that often ends up. Uh, Deadline, of course, has uh, the catastrophes and the uh, Atomic Enclave and things like that. So here we go. Here's the Atomic Enclave. It is a target with 10 HP. Unnatural Disaster. Reveal the top three cards of the villain deck. Put all catastrophes into play. Wow, that's gross. Hello, Mojo Gamer. It is fun. And all catastrophes. Of course they are. And he flips right over. But he gets to destroy some cards, so that's cool. Um, no, or no order to that. Everybody's going to take three. Owie. Gross. Okay. Well, I don't see any pterodactyls yet, but I do see a big, ugly, yellow dinosaur alien looking thing. Maybe I'll just sort of hit him and see what happens. Um, so it's, yeah, we're going to just go ahead and look what I found. Okay, so I gotta keep an eye on cards in the environment deck here. Take that! You know, and that. Alright, Jim makes a fair amount of sense to play his hat. I like that idea. Um, kill on sight. Draw three cards and destroy the card. Okay, that's not bad. Um, displaced Armory is not bad either. Uh, what is what's he got for equipment again? He's got the bow. He's got Danny Boy. Um, that needs bounties in play. That one's not bad. Neurotoxin Dart Thrower. I mean, he's dealing irreducible damage, so that's not as helpful as it could be. Uh, Masada, I believe, also is a number of bounties. 
if we can just start getting bounties into play, these are that's that's real good. Um, yeah. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and just start trying to get some bounties into play. But uh, I have the other one, so I'm gonna start with uh, compounded bow for just a little bit of extra damage, and he will recognize that that is a worse target than Deadline itself at the moment. And we'll poison damage. Why not? Bubbly, bubbly, bubbly. All right. Um, Hair Trigger Reflexes is always a good place to start, but also getting Pride and Prejudice online seems quite strong too. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Especially since we know where both of them are. Presently. Let's try and take out this Enclave as quickly as possible. Um, impossible shot. Ooh, that's real good. Um, critical multiplier. That's really good. Um, between the lines. Well, nothing's reducing damage at the moment. Um, that's two and two. That's four. Alternately, we can just kill that with the impossible shot. Plus the, oh, there's another between the lines. Excellent. Very good draws. All right, let's get rid of that Enclave. That thing's a problem. And now it's not so much a problem. I mean, it's still a problem, but. Hey, look over there. Aren't those dinosaurs? What are those? Do they have wings? Drat. Don't care. Leave them alone. He's going to flip back over. Oh, great. Another one. Okay. And we got three catastrophes again. All right. So that one says, at the start of the villain turn, play the top card of the environment deck. Then the environment deals each non-villain target to melee damage. The Unleashed Hurricanes say, at the start of the villain turn, two players must put one card from the top of their deck, from their hand on top of their deck. Then he deals some damage. Lovely. Well, let's see if we can uh... um, I mean we could deal two damage. We could yeah. I mean I can do that too seems strong with par seems reasonably strong with parse. Um, there's no equipments in play to well I mean there's prejudice or pride or whatever whichever of the two guns we put into play. Um I like the idea of drawing cards. Total beefcake and extreme. Um, yeah, we'll take that. We'll take that right to the bank. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and draw a card here. There we go. Say cheese. That's the kind of thing I was looking for. Guys doesn't care about the Velociraptors because they're not a pterodactyl. They're strictly not a pterodactyl. That's that's what we want to do. Sudden contract. Um, let's bring down deadline by any means. Or do we want him dead or alive? Or do we want the ultimate target? Do we want him to be the, uh, the ultimate target? Um... Wow, that's really good. Now we're gonna get that get that ultimate target going. We'll put that next to deadline, and then we'll start firing at him. Oh right. Yeah, the I, I, ultimate target just seemed better here. Um, there's. I mean, I guess we can kill on sight the Velociraptors uh, and start getting some of those guns at a better position. Alternately, I could just start... Well, actually. Yeah, all right. We're going to do kill on sight here. Put that next to Velociraptors. And start making some better decisions. Man, 
there we go. There's another bounty. Excellent. Um, hair trigger reflexes is definitely a consideration with the environment putting out targets. And uh, Deadline's deck has a couple of targets, but not that many. Um, other things to do. Let's see. Actually, Arsenal access is really not bad at all. Um, all right, so we'll just do... Is it hollow points that deals extra damage? Yep, sweet. We'll go ahead and put that right into play. And we will fire for effect. Oh, I mean that just almost kills the Velociraptor pack, alternatively. Just level it at deadline. All right, unload. Not bad, could be better. Um, let's see, between the lines, that gets us four damage off of the compound bow, or four dam. Or yeah, I think that's just probably better. Go there. We'll keep keep going with the toxic damage. He's just painting his bow with uh, with poison tonight. Because why not? Now we're going to have a lot of problems with the uh, catastrophes here. Oh, lovely. Alright, so that's, you know, not strictly the worst. Oh, there's a pterodactyl. Hey, look! That flappy thing! Get it! That's the most important target on the field! Ignore the yellow guy! Um, two players. So that's going to be, well, Expatriate. That hair trigger reflexes is great, but I can redraw that. That's fine. Um, guys, you're holding a bunch of cards right now. We have a visual. All right. <laughs> Jim takes absolutely no notice of the pterodactyl, much to Guy's dismay, and launches another compound bow shot. In the general direction of uh, Deadline. Um. <laughs> another catastrophe. Huzzah! Alright, well. Deadlines, catastrophes. Or what, what did he just put in? He put in uh, Subduction Super Zone. Deadline raises his hands in the air, and Insula Primalis begins to quake with awesome energy. The pterodactyl, in its effort to steal a gun from Expatriate, gets caught up in the blast and destroyed. Guys goes chasing after it. Hey, wait! That was my kill! I wanted that! Alright, well, that's irritating, but not the worst. Hey, that hurt, big guy! I was just after that pterodactyl! I didn't do anything to hurt you, except run into your back. So, say cheese! Um... Look, give me that bow for a minute. I can do that too. See? Anybody can shoot a bow, it's easy. Nope. We'll take out another contract. Take him down by any means. All right, we got another play. Terrible tech strike is definitely a consideration. Dead or alive. Um, Displaced armor was so good with dead or alive. I guess that's next turn. Terrible tech strike it is. Uh, 
This is working pretty well. Chrono Ranger is just on a tear today with these poison arrows. Ooh. Okay. Um, shock rounds is fine, but there's no other targets in play. Um, let's go with cryo rounds instead. I'm pretty sure his damage is irreducible. All right, Parse, what do you got for us? Um, ooh, between, another between the lines. Well, we can certainly finally cut. Uh, it has nothing to do with uh, birds at all, Lord Flashfire. It's actually, this is the Thanksgiving special. So, guys is trying to make the best turducken he can possibly make. Uh, and he decided that that required um, pterodactyl. And I will tell you, Lillian Corvus not in this. Or Lillian, whatever. Uh, Matriarch, not in this. Strictly speaking. Ooh, that's, I mean, that's really good. Yeah, we're going to do that. Yeah. Ratio for Dan, I apologize for that. I say this every week. My, for whatever reason, my camera, the, this camera, is a giant problem. It's the best webcam that I could possibly... Like, everywhere I looked, they said, buy this camera, buy this camera, buy this camera. So I did. And no matter what I do, I cannot get it to sync up properly. The game should be fine. All right, so we have two more catastrophes. Severed ley line that triggers at the start of his turn, and this also triggers at the start of his turn. So, alrighty, um, well, guys can do a number of things here. Wow. Okay. Whoa. It's been a long week, so I'm like I'm having trouble reading cards. <laughs> um, my family gets together in kind of a ridiculous way on Thanksgiving, and it, it's it turns into a like three day celebration. Um, so, yeah. All right, we're gonna do extreme. Just you. Oh, there's I can do that. Sweet. Oh, the pterodactyl thief is back. Well, we know where he's going with that damage. Hey, sweet, another one! You didn't tell me there was more than one! Um, so, alright, so is it... Dead or alive? Dis into displaced armory... Yeah, so it's dead or alive. Move next to that. Then displaced armory. Looking for... The Masada. Come in a deadline. You want it dead? I'll bring it down. Jim's shot from the Masada catches the pterodactyl thief in the wing, sending it re reeling out of... reeling in, off in a strange direction into the underbrush. Guys chases after it, waving his arms. Why did you do that? Now I have to go find it! 
Expatriate loads shock rounds into pride and takes aim at deadline. The lightning ricochets off and catches the pterodactyl thief, illuminating it and allowing it allowing guys to find its remains. Hey, thanks. That worked better than I thought. Um, so this would be three plus one plus two is five. What, what happened? Oh, right. This would be yeah, it's got it's the Masada. Yep. Well, remember, but guys is hunting pterodactyls with an oversized butterfly net with an, electri with an electrical field attached to it. Primordial plant life. Everybody destroys their ongoing card. Can we just afford to take the damage? Yeah, we can. Guys trips over some plants, which immediately come to life and bite at the heroes. He starts doing a strange dance. Okay. Alright, one... And what else do we not need? Because we're not using the bow anymore. What's he at? Eight? Yeah, we're not using the bow anymore. Yep. Severed ley line, and he flips over again. Destroying all three or all all the catastrophes and dealing three damage to everybody. But All right. Well, let's see. You're basically dead, and I've got two pterodactyls. Look at me. I'm the best. I'm going to take a shot at Deadline and drop him to the ground. Aren't I amazing? Guys hauls himself out of the woods, carrying the remains of a pterodactyl with its head exploded in a rocket direction, or with its head smoking as if it were a rocket propelled grenade. Hey, look everyone! I found our Thanksgiving dinner! And I've even started to cook it! I know, I know. If you use electricity to cook the whole thing, it'll be done before we get it to the table. But I was just charring the outside! The real meat will be cooked by the fires of Magmaria to seal in that prehistoric seasoning. Hmm, I can smell it now. I sent some friends down there a couple days ago to collect some of those magma crystals they treat as a delicacy down there. I should really go check on them. You lot will be all right up here, won't you? Great! He heaves the cardboard box over himself and the pterodactyl carcasses, which look significantly worse for the wear, being... The box, of course, looking significantly worse for wear, following both being used as a teleporter and having been trodden on several times in the scuffle with Deadline. As the box blinks out of sight, several banners of the, of the Citizens of the Sun can be seen in the background as Parse, Chrono Ranger, and Expatriate look on stunned. Guys reappears in Magmaria and tumbles out of the box. Hey everyone, how goes the big... Harvest? Nobody replies or is indeed even there. Hello? Guys calls into the darkness. Man, it's so hard to good to find good help these days. Tempest! Skyscraper? Haka? A pile of rocks shifts slightly. Guys takes absolutely no notice and begins rabbiting on about the relative merits of sweet potatoes and squashes and how to improve upon mashed potatoes using balsamic vinegar. Haka emerges from under the rock pile and seizes Guys by the leg, hauling him down under the rocks, too. Whoa! 
Haka clamps a hand over where Guise's mouth should be, and it muffles the sound somewhat. Grand Warlord Voss showed up down here and is making a terrible mess of things. T Tempest and Skyscraper are all riled up, and we need to work together to get him out of the way if we're going to have any hope of bringing back your magma crystals. Why did you want them again? Guise rolls his eyes and waves his hands in the air and makes some muffled noises through Haka's massive hand before shifting his face to the left side of his mask and talking that way instead. I've told you a zillion times, aside from being delicacies, they're perfect for stuffing a turkey with to get that seared in taste, and I presume that goes for pterodactyl as well. They heat up perfectly from the inside out so you get a nice, even flavor and cook. Without warning, the boulder, boulder protecting them is heaved off of them, and several gene-bound minions appear. I found them, boss. What should we do with them? Okay, so game two tonight runs us up against Grand Warlord Voss. And of course, the story is all about guys. And I mentioned Skyscraper. Tempest. And Haka. The environment is, of course, Magmaria, as I mentioned. And let's bring it on. Well done, Logic Gate. All right, guys has in hand. Uh, best card ever, gimmicky character, gritty reboot, and let me see that. Tempest has ball lightning, chain lightning, localized hurricane, and shielding winds. Uh, skyscraper has aggression modulator, explosive, abrasive explosive reveal, and I can't read that, undetectable relinking. I can never read that card, it's so small. Even with like graphics on high. Uh, Haka has abrasive dominion, elbow smash, and punish the weak. Lord Flashfire, I would love to do a podcast, a, a guy's cooking podcast. Um, there have been a couple now that I've done uh, guy's cooking shows. I've did, done uh, Night of the Living Bread and Guys' is Gourmet. Uh, for some reason, I just think Food Network host. When I think of guys, I, I don't know why that is. Um, so, of course, Grand Warlord Voss, fairly straightforward. Um, we got to beat him down. But he's going to have a lot of minions banging around as well. He flips if there's no minions. Uh, if there's ten or more in play, we lose. When he flips over, uh, if there are two, more, two or more, he flips back over. Um, he's shielded by the minions is that a th thing on the other side too no it's not but we just gotta be diligent about killing them um, and there's a lot of the minions are immune to different types of damage so we'll just pay attention to that too he's gonna play a gene bound guard so he is gonna get some DR he's gonna get two, G two DR Ugh. well alright okay that's actually kind of nice to get out of the way now um, I believe that's when it's destroyed take all the minions from the daily trash and, so we're actually just I mean there's a DR of 2 kicking around right now just for literally everything um, man we're not going to discard or gain any hit points because we didn't lose any um Draw a card when he hit takes damage. Play next to an equipment. Yeah. Best card ever is fine. Um, it, the damage isn't going to go through because of the guards. Well, let's, let's see what best card ever yields us. Ooh, nice. So we're definitely going to throw our hands on him here. Um, so it doesn't matter in the slightest. Um, I need to read Voss again. Yeah, okay. Reduce damage. So we do have to kill these first. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, where did I put that? 
Nice. Yes, I definitely got what I was looking for. And we're actually going to go ahead and use his power to get rid of force deployment now. Double checking that that's... Yep. Just putting that in the bin seems like a great idea. Let's retcon the force deployment. And there's nothing to put in there. Um, so, and then we'll draw a card. We can use everything fun. Uh, this, is, this is not irreducible. Would like to have Parse here. That would have been nice. But she's stuck on Insula Primalis. Um, so Ball Lightning will get through for two. Um, but there's not two ongoings to get rid of. So that's not super duper helpful. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just use Tempest in this way. Uh, this isn't going to help at all, but, you know, there you are. Might as well throw it down. Tempest notes that he's having trouble accessing the weather patterns in Magmaria. It's too hot. Um, okay, that goes next to an environment target. We don't have any of those right now. We don't have any links in play. Wow, this is just a garbage hand to start with here. Um, so we're going to not do that. And we'll go ahead and draw two cards and then draw one for our turn. Okay, now we're talking. Alright, Haka, what can you do? Elbow Smash is a consideration. It gets through for one. Punish the weak. Also a good option. That will get us through for one. We'll start with Punish the weak. We'll try and start getting rid of the whoops. Start getting rid of these guards. Gets us through for one. It's not much, but it's something. Although Dominion's gonna be a thing too. Nope, nobody has a magma crystal, so that's just gonna hang around. Okay, Ion Lancer. Unfortunately, that go, does go for the hero target. All right. Um, let's see. I can do that too. Would allow. It doesn't. Not going to help there. That's not helpful. Actually, is that an equipment? No, it's just an ongoing. Um, all right, I'm gonna try and set it up so that guys take some damage and draw some cards off Gritty Reboot here. I don't think this is gonna do any good, but I can double up the Gritty re Oh, I can't, oh, it's limited, whoops. Okay, um, that's not helpful. There's no equipment's banging around yet. So I'm actually going to go ahead and rewind that. And we'll, we'll draw a card instead. Guy's the Barbarian. Sweet. That's still not doing any good, but there you are. Alright, so Tempest. If we actually, if we chain lightning, we might be able to get through, kill one guard. Yep. Almost kill guard number two. And this is uh, this will actually happen, so might as well hit the Lancer. That one's immune to shock, so... Crash in there, at least. This isn't going to do any good at all. I don't know why I did it. It's the Shaman. Oh, well, actually. That, that was probably a mistake, then. Oh well. Um, so choke slam is an option here, but it's not super great with the guard still in play. Uh, 
Um, here's a link, and we've got a lot of cards that key off of links kicking around. Uh, aggression modulator, reduce damage to dealt by that target to hero targets by two, increase damage dealt by that target to villain. Unless, once we get a magman that's actually going to hit villains as well, that'll be useful, but I feel like right now it's just the, the, the rebound. And we can put that, we can strap that right onto the shock in infantry. And just start ricocheting that around. And we'll just draw cards here. More link, nice. Okay, sweet. More ch tectonic choke slam. We'll take that too. Um, elbow smash is pretty good, but we really need to get rid of these. So I feel like, well, I mean, I guess that's fine. Alternately, I can just Dominion up and start moving things around that way. Uh, getting rid of the DR seems very strong, so we're going to go ahead and do that. We're just pretty much going to have, just going to try and abuse Punish the Weak here. Uh, yay, hey, we got a Magma Crystal. At the end of the environment turn, players may choose for one hero card to be dealt three... Dealt three fire damage. A hero whose hero character put this card in their hand, and then it's just not part of their hand. Um, I have other ways of destroying environment cards, and just having extra cards kicking around is not hurting anything right now, so... Oh, Genebound Firesworn, okay. That's fine. We're definitely going to put that right back on top of the deck. that doesn't happen okay uh, guys the barbarian increased damage by two that's pretty good because he's gonna be dealing one and there's no DR kicking around right now so let's go ahead and do that um, now I can do that too would allow him to use Hakka's power to kill the bio lancer or the ion lancer however he's still only gonna hit well no he can, he can hit two so let's okay I'm gonna try something let's say if I can do that too, wait a second, this is going to deal more damage. Let's do that. Yeah, this is better. It's not going to hit the shock infantry, or actually it might. Yep, because it's projectile damage. Just clear the field right out. See? Aren't I useful? I'm great. And look at that. And actually, that allows Haka to go right after Voss. All right, that was pretty good. Um, there's no ongoing cards to get rid of there, so that's just not really what I want to be doing. Um, Cleansing Downpour is actually pretty good to keep around, especially considering that Tempest himself is ailing. Not the strongest. There's a chain lightning. We'll take that. Uh, choke slam is an option. All right, fine. She'll go big. And then hit everything. Ow! Hey, I thought we were friends over here. And the clap, clap, clap. Avoid the clap, folks. Um, Taeha is good. Elbow smash is fine. We'll go ahead and elbow smash. There we go. Ooh, Haka battle. Excellent, excellent. Okay. When this card enters play, it deals each target four damage. Whenever a hero uses this power, uses a power, this card deals that hero two fire damage. When this card is destroyed, move it to their hand, and it's a magma crystal. So, does guys have retcon kicking around? He does. Okay, sweet. So we we'll only have to take this once. Uh, 
Um, that's not really that important right now. Okay, he flips. And there's the Conqueror. Okay. Ow. Okay, guys, the Barbarian goes away. That's fine. Um, retcon this. That is a problem. That's a huge issue. But I guess I can dump Haka damage into it. Let's retcon the Magma Crystal. It doesn't matter. Sweet, more Dominion. Um, where are we going? Hey, you look delicious! I could eat you! For something. Maybe we can serve you for Thanksgiving! Who knows? Guys hastily picks up the Magma Crystal, or the, the Behemoth, and stuffs it under the cardboard box. Um, uh, let's play a card. Look what I found. Oh, right. Immune to melee damage. Of course it is. So we'll come against Voss instead. Um, okay, say cheese. All right, Chain Lightning is definitely an option here. Yeah, we'll do it. Bring big damage here. Bring small damage there. We'll stop dealing damage. Um, I think it's more important for him to heal up here. All right, oh, sweet. Um, the compulsion canister is pretty good. Put that right next to Grand Warlord Voss. Make him deal himself and the Conqueror two damage apiece. Concussive clap. Oh, colossal left hook. Very nice. All right, so we do have a bunch of cards here. I don't know, well, actually. No deployments, no spaceships, just got ton ton tunnel damage on Voss. Wow, well done, Logic Gate. I'm somewhat jealous of that. Um, that's not gonna get through to, well, come on. Play the Taieha, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, right, that can't take melee damage. And that's melee damage also, so I guess we'll just dump it onto Voss and take the punch the weak penalty here. That's a bummer. Okay. Yeah. I would very much like to draw a stratosphere. Um, okay, destroy one ongoing card. Yep, that's doing the least right now. Probably see a minion here. Yep, Psyweaver. Uh, whenever a hero card, character card would be dealt damage, one player may discard a Magma Crystal. If they do, redirect this card. Uh, I wonder if I throw this big thing out of the way... Whoa, hey, that was cool. Did anybody know I could do that? Because I didn't. Oh man, there goes Tempest. That's a bummer. All right. So I can retcon down. Oh, the Tunneler's just helpful, though. That's not help. That's not. It wouldn't behoove me to... Uh, Nice. Oh yeah. Gotta deal with this first. Okay. 
Can I do this? There we go. Yep, I can. Get rid of you. Now this melee damage so it doesn't matter. I can bring it right to Voss. There's Guys the Barbarian. That's nice. Ah. And that is fire damage. And he's doing energy. Oh, fire. Yeah, so fire damage is the right call here. Nice. We will take that. Colossal left hook can't hurt. If you discard a card, you may play a card. All right. So let's discard that and play out the, the tectonic choke slam. Keep pounding away. And we'll swing again. I can't take melee damage. Oh, yes, I can. This isn't. Oh, it's sonic damage. Ha! Take that. All right, there's another one. I'll just keep leveling damage in. Um, okay, that'll be next turn. Uh, do we do it now? We've got a bit of HP. I think we just wait. Yeah, all right. I'm just going to start leveling through as much damage as I possibly can here. Disappointing, but there you are. Haka picks up Mir. Hey, wait, that just looked like a rock. I didn't realize that was something important. Nope. Not gonna do that. Although we're immune to fire damage. Oh, that was silly. Alright, well. Alright, yep, yeah, we're definitely gonna destroy this. Let me see that, because it's gonna go away, away anyway. All right, Victor. Yep, we can't take fire damage because Tempest is a beast. Aha, see, aren't we great? Uh, so I guess if I do Guys the Barbarian into let me see that. Oh, no, no, because I can't, okay, well, fine. We'll do Guys the Barbarian. And we will go ahead and Hold on. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll draw a card. Hey, sweet. Look what I found. All right. So with Ground Pound being an option here, I can discard a couple of cards and just get through. So we're going to go ahead and allow skyscraper to, is that what we want to do oh man I messed something up all right well that's a bummer I should have played the other thing with guys oops all right so we're gonna colossally left hook and then we can potentially I don't have
have any links to destroy, so we're not going to do that. However, oh, I, I, I take that back. I do have the compulsion canister. Um, we're going to go ahead and... Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and skip that because it's not that important. Oh, because Victor's in play. That's fine. Monolith. Excellent. Yeah. Freedom 5 Wraith's pretty, pretty strong. Alright, so we will discard two cards. It will be Haka of Shielding. And sorry to other Dominion. Um, well, Victor will get the boost for what that's worth. Unfortunately, the Conqueror can't. So we'll bring that at Voss, put him to 20. Also, welcome, Epic Vulcan. Live long and prosper. Okay. Um, Guys, the Barbarian's going away anyway, so that's very convenient. Dreambound Soldier. It's fine. I'll take a little bit of damage. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Nothing can deal damage because the ground is being pounded savagely. See? Fear the wrath of this pterodactyl that I'm holding in front of you. Look, you got a picture of Mr. Chomps as a, as a pterodactyl in this case. Sorry, folks. Um, what is Stone Shaper? At the end of the environment turn, each player may discard a magma crystal and select a target. Reduce damage. Okay, whatever. That's fine. All right could just do that instead <laughs> get out of here ugly thing I'm gonna hit you with a pterodactyl um, is there a card that I want to play gritty reboot is an option let me see that uh, oh actually if I take that away from him okay I'm gonna fix the mistake I made last time we're going to get Taieha. We're going to steal Taieha. We're going to smash. That's It's melee damage, so it's one damage. Smash here. Then. Hopefully. Guys is going to use a power. He's going to use Taieha. Bring it at Voss. And unfortunately, he can't hit that, so he's just going to hit the Stone Shaper. Because there's no reason not to. Alright, um, Monolith. Redirect any damage dealt to a hero target to Skyscraper. So Skyscraper is going to take some lumps here. But because it's reduced. Unless there's something better I can do, which I don't see. I'll go ahead and do that. Victor's not in play anymore, so let's get rid of the dis the Conqueror. Get rid of this. Savage Mana! Sweet. Not that that helps us a whole lot right now, but, you know. Okay. There's another Monolith. Excellent. That will help. Um, so Haka of Battle gets us not quite where we need to be. Um, so that's next turn's play, I would say. And then I guess we'll put in an extra Dominion now, uh, just so we have something to destroy with. Although, yeah, we don't, because we don't, guys didn't play anything funky. Oh yeah, he, that's been, let me see it added. Um, is it better to just get the one point and put him to 13? 
No, I'm going to see if I can abuse, punish the weak here. Now I got elbow smash and all kinds of other stuff. All right. Ooh, rampage. Excellent. We have options now. We have options now. Okay. Yep, that's fine. Um, let's start by bringing it at Voss, and then we'll start figuring things out. Deal it to itself. Um, okay, so this is just happening. Okay, Skyscraper took some lumps there, but honestly, not that big a deal. That's going to get redirected to Skyscraper yeah, for one. Sure. We'll take one, because guys is like, ooh, hey! Wait, why do you get it? That's that's not fair. Give me that. Give me that. I came down here looking for those. Frost Hound. All right, that's fine. Yep, no problem. No problem at all. <laughs> um, let's see. Treat this card as if it had the game text of every ongoing card in that player's play area, replacing that hero's name with guys. And you on that card means guys as player. Eh. Wait a minute, I could just retcon this. I'm gonna get my behemoth back. If you're gonna take that crystal, I'm gonna get my behemoth back. So there. And that will allow Haka to draw some extra cards. Uh, Guys is going to pick up that. Um, we'll draw a card here and see if we can draw. Yep, Super, super Ultra. Should probably read the game text on that. At the end of your hero turn, if you have more than four cards in your hand, you may play a card. Okay, that's fine. I'm still going to just draw a card. Say cheese. Sweet. We're going to just try and crush that thing out. Um, let's see if we can let let Haka use a power to get rid of this, enabling us to swing for the fences with Grand Warlord Voss on the next turn. Yep, that's fine. Uh, as long as and he's got a bunch of cards in hand, yeah. So Haka can just take care of this. But just in case, we're going to do the Theranian mono uh, Therathian Monolith. Why do I keep saying Theranian? It's so annoying. Watch me annoy myself. Alright. <laughs> and we draw the third one. Of course. Why not? Why wouldn't we? Alright. So we are going to Haka of Battle. Discard literally everything in hand. Because there's no reason to keep it. Oh, the feel bad's discarding that. Uh, savage mana. Come here. All right. Then we will. Uh, yep, tie a because it's more damage. For 14 damage. Pow! Voss falls in a heap. Run! Shouts guys, clutching a pile of magma crystals in his prized pterodactyl carcasses as the remaining gene-bound soldiers chase him through the cavern. He skids to a halt where he left the cardboard box, but this time it's been damaged so far so far beyond repair that it pretty much just looks like a charred mess. No! No, 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 no! This thing had a lifetime guarantee! How am I supposed to get back home and finish cooking this meal? Haka runs up behind him and picks him up by the scruff of the neck. The cave is collapsing. We need to move. But I just can't just leave my teleporter. Billy was just like a teleporter to me. Haka begins to ask, you named your cardboard box Billy? But Guys cuts him off. We'll just have to build another one. He pulls out his cell phone and begins looking around for reception as Haka continues toward what presumably is an exit to Magmaria. Skyscraper is along for the ride in tiny form, and Tempest is struggling to keep up with the, the, the Maori hero, but doing his best but continually falling behind. Every now and again, he fires a lightning bolt back behind him. 
I thought you said you knew how to get out of here. I thought you said you knew how to get out of here, complains Bot Guys, unnecessarily flailing his arms. Haka, finally having had enough of the purple shenanigans, heaves Guys through a gap in the stone wall. Guys screams and covers his face as he impacts the side, but no damage comes. He flies through the small gap, and the next panel shows him sitting up in the corner of the capital city of, capital city of Doc Therath. Oh, this is perfect! I've heard the vegetables on Doc Therath are amazing! If I can score some of those, this will be a Thanksgiving dinner that couldn't be beat. He walks around in search of a marketplace that might sell fruits or vegetables, but doesn't have much luck. Nobody seems to understand what he's saying. Eventually, he gives up and just starts singing a few bars of Alice's Restaurant, which draws some odd looks, but is ultimately just as fruitless. Never one to give up, Guys proceeds to sing louder and louder, and eventually a second voice joins in. Who said that? Guys spins around surprised and finds Legacy, Bunker, and Captain Cosmic have set up shop at the final booth in the market. How did you guys end up here? I didn't send you off, world. And then never come back for you, did I? No, of course I didn't. I'm the best hero there is. I wouldn't do something like that. There must be some reason you're... Oh. <laughs> I'm glad Logic Gate picked up on my pun there. Um, yes, so game three tonight features our uh, lovely hero team of Legacy, Bunker, Guys, And there's Captain Cosmic. The environment is the Doc Thorath capital. And the villain that he saw is actually Trickster Kismet. Variant Kismet. Uh, I don't know that I've... I, I, did, I did a Variant Kismet a while ago. Uh, the Unsubtle Trickster version. Uh, but I just want to read through this card again. Because it's been quite some time. Uh, the villain deck is shuffled and the cards are revealed until... Some jinxes are revealed. Uh, I mean, I don't think you're directing that question at me, Lord Flashfire, but uh, yes. And it looks like Epic Vulcan did the same, so well done, sir. Uh, anyway, so yeah, we have... Uh, we were looking at Kismet. Um, when the Talisman enters play area, Kismet flips. So did she just start flipped over? Oh, into the villain play area. Okay. Whenever a lucky card enters play, she deals each target two energy damage and regains four hit points. At the end of the villain turn, she deals a hero character card in the play area with the talisman for psychic damage. Then if there are no jinxes in play, the top card of the villain deck is played. Oh my. Well, here we go. Okay, guys is starting out game three with a brace of a, yeah, I'm that guy. A copy of Where Did I Leave That? An Extreme! Um, Legacy has a brace of Fortitude and Next Evolution and Surge of Strength. Bunker has Adhesive Foam Grenade, Ammo Drop, Auxiliary Power Source, Maintenance Unit. And Captain Cosmic has Augmented Ally, Energy Bracer, Harps, Harsh Offense, and Sustained Influence. All right, Kismet. Bring it on. Okay. Play this card next to the hero card with the lowest HP. Whenever you use it, uses the power. Oh, lovely. Um, put it next to Captain Cosmic. Guys jumps out of the way, and the and the Jinx adheres itself to Captain Cosmic instead. Just gonna play the whole deck like that's a thing that she can do. All right, well, Legacy's not dealing damage, so that's fine. All right, now we get to do some things. Well, let me see. I'm gonna go digging through this bag here, and ooh, hey, that's where I left that. Good. Um. He will play a card. 
That's going to be say cheese. Take a picture of Kismet. And then he'll whack Kismet while the flash is going off. Ow. Sweet guys, the barbarian. Um, next evolution actually might not be the worst idea. Really need the legacy ring though. That would be great. She's going to smash him for a lot this game, I think. So fortitude seems reasonable. All right. I'm going to start with ammo drop. I'll just draw some cards. Gatling gun, sweet. Energy Bracer is actually going to go right next to Captain Cosmic. Yes. Rebounding. And he's about to deal damage. Take damage himself, so... Oh yeah, right, the Energy Bracer. Whoop! <laughs> Villain targets are immune to damage dealt by Tharathian cards. At the end of the environment turn, if they're... That didn't last very long. Good gosh. Okay, so a lot of damage bounced around there. Guys gets big again. Look at me deal all this damage. Aren't I fantastic? Alright, um... So next evolution seems pretty reasonable here. Especially seeing as he's not... Yeah. And she's dealing primarily... What, energy damage? Psychic damage. I wonder if some of these things doing. Yeah, this, it's all psychic damage, so... We'll keep him from losing his head. We'll bring the maintenance unit online. But we will continue to draw cards. Flat cannon, nice. And another auxiliary power source. Wow, it's been a long time since I've done anything in the Do Doc Thorath capital. I still didn't bother to read that card, did I? At the end of the environment turn, if there are fewer Therathian targets than non Therathians. Oh dear. Okay. Um. I guess we'll play this next to him. Remember, construct card is just yeah. We will definitely sustain the influence. Seems great. Okay. Looks like everything's taking damage here. Fabricate again. We'll put it into play. Uh, let's let's move this next to Legacy this time. Yep. We'll put that right back into play. Continue it next to Captain Cosmic. I 
Good gravy. And Kismet gets, seizes the talisman back and gets very excited about it. Oh, jeepers. Six damage to everything? Oh, that's so bad. Who's dealing a bunch of damage? I guess it's Captain Cosmic. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, that hurt, folks. That really, really hurt. Um... All right, we're gonna we're gonna try an extreme here. And draw cards, super ultra. Okay, that's fine. Yep. Guys is gonna smack the talisman and steal it from her, which, well, someone got it. I didn't see who. Um, yep. So, I guess we'll just thock. And protect. Alright. Black cannon, yep. We will cannon. Take that. <laughs> you know, for, for lack of anything better to do. Oh dear, so many, so many, uh, so many of those. Well, that is a thing we could do. We're gonna try and try try a harsh offense. We'll see if we hit. Yep, great. So they're gene-bound ravagers. That's gonna hit everything, though. We're gonna continue to just go at her. All right. Yep. She has. That's a discard a card, so that's fine. What's the power on the talisman? Oh, some rigging. Eh. Put that in play. Um, who needs? I'm gonna give that to guys, ri dangerously, but we will see what happens. Okay. Oh lord. Everything takes two. So that's just gonna happen. Absolutely nothing can be done about that. Uh, each player may draw a card. Wait. Whenever this card would be dealt damage, one player may discard. Oh. I don't care. Bunch more damage from the environment, and the Freedom Fighters go nuts! They dislike guys' singing too much. I don't see a way to get out of that. One. Two. Three. And... Four. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to retcon down the ziggurat because it's driving me absolutely up a wall. Draw a card. Okay. Total beefcake. Uh, we're going to draw cards again. Ah, sweet, I can do that too. Um, there's no boost in play right now. Who's level that right at Kismet? Uh, 
Alright, so I'm going to bring out the Legacy Ring here so we can next evolution against presumably Psychic Damage. Yeah, it looks like it. The Ziggurat of Jerks. Make him immune to Psychic Damage and then everybody gets the Galvanize. Alright, Bunker. We're going to bring in the heavy plating, try and keep him alive a little bit longer. Nope, we don't want to hit that. We do want to hit her. <laughs> Everything's a jerk. Okay, the, that's for constructs. I uh, don't have any constructs in play, so that's just strictly not helpful. Um, I, guess I, I guess I can bring in sustained influence. And hope we hit on this power. That's not helpful. We did not hit. Okay. Freedom fighters. More of them. Lovely. Yeah, right? Guys can make motivational speeches too. It says after all his story. I think he's going to kick the bucket here. In fact, he does. Just hard stop, he kicks the bucket. Oh, dear. See? Well, now. This got ugly, folks. But it's psychic damage, so... Next evolution takes care of that. However, that 86 is Captain Cosmic... Um, not that it matters in the slightest, because they're they're next to a dead guy. Okay. Each player. Ah, uh, I. It possibly. If there are four or fewer environment cards, destroy one of them. So, Legacy is going to discard a card, and we want it to be an ongoing or an equipment. It's going to be Surge of Strength. Bunker's going to gain hit points. Thank you, guys. Um, yep, that's fine. We're going to Thok. We're going to discard Next Evolution, because we have one. We're going to draw a card. We're going to galvanize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait a minute, was that psychic damage? That sure was, wasn't it? I did that backwards. Immune to psychic damage. That can't happen. Then we're going to do that. Can't touch this. So is this going to come down to just legacy going nuts? Thock, 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 and roll high school. <laughs> oh, rock and roll high school. I get it. Yeah, that took me a minute. Alright, we're going to bring out the grenade launcher. That's going to be three. Give me back that talisman, Kismet. You jerk. Yep, that's fine. As long as we can keep Bunker alive, we should be in okay situation. Yeah, reliable ongoing destruction is tough. Like... Um, I guess it's going to be flat cannon. For four... Okay, Ravagers, that'll happen. 
but a little bit of shielding definitely goes a long way. Like, and this is what, energy damage. Yeah, so that's gonna happen. Legacy's gonna discard Fortitude. Turn the page. Thank you. Okay, so. Um, I guess guys is just going to get rid of cards in the environment. That's kind of nice. Doo, 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 doo. Uh, flying smash. That's more than one. It's three targets, but we're just going to come in. Oh, we're not going to attack the talisman. That's a terrible idea. We're going to become immune. And then we're going to do this. All right, Bunker's Bunker's ailing here, but he's not dead yet. Um, let's see. Actually... We're going to adhesive foam grenade here. Environment, you don't get to do anything. Uh, and then we're going to grenade... Uh, is it grenade launcher? Does it matter? No, it doesn't. So it's flat cannon. Her. Okay, and then Captain Cosmos is going to let him do it again. Okay, 27, folks. 27. Now, unfortunately, she gets to play a card, which is unfun. Yep, so this... Well, no, it's only going to deal one to Bunker. Okay, all right, that's fine. Sweet, sweet. Okay, he's one is not dead. One is not zero. Um... So, let's see if I can get him to gain some hit points back. He's at three. Alright, uh, motivational charge is an option. Unfortunately, not really, because... I'm going to put it into play, but he's not going to use it. Oh, wait, yes he is. Because... Oh, wait, what? Oh, because of that thing. Okay, well, that's, uh... That's frustrating. That's, that, that's what this does, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, is there... I don't think I have anything to get rid of that. Man. Well. That, that's, that's really bad. So we're going to just maintenance unit up. And see if we can get rid of things. Just try and sneak out of this, basically. That just negate. That's anti galvanize. That's just bad. Alright, you know what? Wait a minute. What's this dealing? Melee? Yep. I'm actually gonna go with energy because energy. she deals energy damage too. Yep, yeah, that's that's some damage. <laughs> well, who are we fighting again? Can I just get the environment to kill her? Like that'd be rad. 
it's never going to happen. Okay. Yep. Wow, this is... Uh... Okay, bunker's down. <laughs> Um, that one's causing more problems than, yep. She's just going to go right back to full health with these fortune smiles. Yep, all those things happen. Um, well, all right, guys, which one are we getting rid of? That one, it's got more hit points. All right, Legacy. Um, playing another Legacy Ring can't happen, so that's a thing. We'll become immune to psychic damage. Actually, we're going to galvanize here. Okay. Um... We'll reduce damage to Legacy. We'll plant Bunker right in front of him. Alright, we're, we're just going to try it here. I mean... Oh. Oh, yeah, right, Shaky Arm. We're going to try it. Yep. Okay, so it goes to the Defiant Losers instead. Or looters. Defi yeah, they are defiant losers. Jerks. And the military's back. That's right, we don't have any flamethrowers. I'd say we're in trouble if we have to go up against the military. Oh, wait! I feel like maybe there's an out here somewhere, but I just, I don't see it. I mean, guys is just going to continue destroying environment cards, and she's going to continue throwing them away. They're, without a way to get rid of this, like, I don't know. And this is takedown, takedown deals, energy damage. I can only use next evolution once. So that's just not as helpful. No, I'm not going to do it. Yep, that, that's a thing. Okay, drawing cards. Maybe we can draw our way out of this. What's in Legacy's bin? Um, I could put another next evolution in, and then, but that, does that get me anywhere? Not really. Alright, so we're just going to continue this, this path. Path to something. Hey, it got through! She's down to 32, folks. Wait, this seems familiar. I feel like we've been here before. Good grief. Just play all the jinxes. Le Legacy is just the most cursed human being. At, at, at what point does Legacy become setback? here with this many jinxes in play energy damage okay
All right, so what we're gonna do here is we are going to bolster allies, or bolster himself in this case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's just another motivational charge. It's no big deal, but it gets card. Secret origin of a secret oblivion, a certain oblivion card. Well, I mean, that's a thing too, right? Like, yeah, you don't get to do that. I don't know why I galvanized there, because I'm not going to use it, but, um, because what we're going to do, oh, does that get us out of it? Oh, good gosh. I can danger sense. Yep, that's fine. I'll take one damage. One is fine. I've already got a legacy ring kicking around. <laughs> Why not both? Uh, Alright, so... I don't want to... Yeah, I just want to use the power. You know what? I'm going to try something. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Yep, Talisman does a thing. She flips back over. Takes a bunch of damage. But Legacy can't. Because Danger Sense. This might actually be the out. Oh, no. Yep, that, I, that's fine. Okay, that was definitely not the out. <laughs> yep. That that sure happened. Well, we, we played to our outs. We did our job. <laughs> and Guys still has a move left up, up, up his sleeve. Guys seizes the talisman from Kismet and begins to slice up some of the Therathian vegetables, preparing to throw them as a distraction. The first time the knife touches the relic, however... The panel goes blurry, and suddenly everyone is back inside Guy's kitchen. Every major character in Sentinel Comics is seated around an enormous banquet table. Guy's, as if he'd planned this all along, begins to sharpen his knife and swats away Setback's hand from picking the, at the pterodactyl. Despite looking at it, looking as if it had been through several major war zones, the beast has been ex excellently prepared and didn't the least bit look unappealing. Thank you, every much, thank you everyone for coming so much. And an extra, extra special thanks to the help. There's no way I could have prepared this meal without them. They're the best. Next to me, of course. Without actually cutting the pterodactyl, he sits down and puts his feet up on the edge of the table. Tachyon grimaces. You know, this reminds me of the time when I went to Insula Primalis in search of pterodactyl. For Thanksgiving dinner. The issue ends here. Personally, I think they afforded the writers a little bit too much freedom on this issue. That said, Guy's stories are goofy and often disjointed and reliant on some unusual MacGuffin or another to get the story told. I was pleasantly surprised to see uh, some new teams of heroes come out of this, and maybe we'll see some of the Aftermath stories he here too. When asked, uh, we, the, stream team operative, the stream operatives asked uh, some of the current editors at Sentinel Comics... Uh, about, you know, some of the weird plot holes and stuff that were resolved, and the editors just kind of chalked it up to wager master nonsense, which I'm never super satisfied with, but I guess we'll see how he worked in the uh, the whole place in the backup story, which explains why Legacy and Bunker were off-world in the first place. Game four tonight, which will probably be quick, seeing as we only have about 20 minutes left, is, of course, the traditional when guys loses a wager master story. Featuring the Freedom Five. Uh, where are they? Here we go. And I need Bunker. And they are hanging out at Freedom Tower. Idaho Joe, this will be rebroadcast on uh, YouTube in probably the next fortnight or so. Fortnight? No, that's that's two weeks. Uh, Forty-eight hours or so.
it was it was an odd story at, at best all right so uh legacy starting out with a brace of fortitude next evolution and thok tachyon starts out with hypersonic assault nimble strike research grant synaptic interruption bunker starts out with an adhesive foam grenade auxiliary power source recommissioned har decommissioned hardware and a maintenance unit absolute zero starts out with cold snap cryo chamber isothermic transducer and modular realignment wraith starts out with micro targeting computer smoke bombs throat jab and utility belt i agree it is definitely not the same as uh, as uh, as watching live and i apologize for that one brief <laughs> agent catch up rocketing later it shall appear on youtube yes that is correct All right, Guager Master, do your do your thing. All right, so I have two he hero win conditions. All right, hold on. Losing to the odds. At the end of the villain turn, if each hero target has an even amount of current hit points and less than their maximum hit points, the heroes win the game. If not, destroy one non-villain target with four HP or fewer. And not all he seems says if there are no whenever wager master would be dealt damage prevent that damage and flip this card face down instead if there are no cards in the villain deck the heroes win the game interesting imagine what christopher and adam's like thought process had to be to putting this one together like good gosh discard okay We'll, we'll do it. And Tachyon loves that idea. Okay. Now we're not going to get here this turn. Okay. So we have two, two alternate win conditions. Alternately, we could just go after him. Um... I'm gonna go ahead and thock. Legacy makes Le legacy has been made angry. Why are these blue things crawling all over our tower? Wait a sec. Can we rig this by attacking ourselves? Can we hypersonic assault and then just attack ourselves to, to even hit points? And win this game? We might be able to. I really want to try that. But that seems like ridiculously anticlimactic. I think I can. Like I'm, I'm gonna try it. I'll, I'll just play again if, uh, if we just do this. Oh, we can't hit Wager Master though. Wager Master can deal damage because of the uh, losing the odds. All right. Well, we're gonna try it. Uh, yeah, I know. That's fine. Alright, so... Well, adhesive foam grenade. I mean, that prevents the, the environment from doing anything weird. Um, regaining two hit points is not helpful. I have one equipment in your trash and put it in the fire. Oh, there's nothing there. Uh, all right, you know what? Why would I ignore you, Cytosine? You are a good person. Yeah, we're just going to draw. All righty. So Absolute Zero is already where he needs to be. Um, all 
So if I transducer, see that only deals himself one, which puts him to odd, which is not useful. I'm just gonna not here and see what we can do. This is probably not the way I want to do this, but throat jab. It's two damage, so that's not that's not gonna get there. Oh yeah, that's right, I galvanized. Oh right! Ha! Whoops! Let's try this again. Idaho Joe is absolutely correct. I, I did galvanize. So that'll be even. He'll do himself two fire damage. Yep, that's fine. And then that'll bring him to even. I gotta find a way to get Bunker and Wraith there, though. Okay. Then. Yeah, see, unfortunately. This is even. If I had Razor Ordnance, this would be, well, not doable, but closer to doable? Smoke bombs. <sighs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna get tricky here. Oh yes, yep. There we go. There's that. A bunker can't deal damage. Oh joy. Um, I'm gonna leave that up. And hope that nothing weird happens. Alright, so I don't think this is going to work this turn. But. Yep, that's fine. Yeah, I don't think this worked. Oh, okay. Oh, well, alright, that happens. Okay, so we are one character now away from the other, not this one. <laughs> the not this one shenanigans. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... F Man, this makes for some weird decisions. Alright, I'm going to play... Oh, oh, right. Because it's everything's reversed. Play next evolution. Oh yeah, now the galvanize is turned off. Weird, 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 weird. All right, well we're gonna hud goggles. Oh no, we're not, because we're gonna do this first. Yeah, yeah, I'll discard that. That's fine. All right. Hod goggles, synaptic. Okay, so draw twice. Power, so draw a third time. Power, or no, we use the power. Play a card. Huzzah. Uh, is it modular realignment? Is that the one I need? I don't think so. Oh, there we go. Well, power up. Galvanize is turned off, so unfortunately... I guess I can just skip it here. Okay. Do that. Modular thingy. Bring that one in. Play it. Hurrah for null point. Alright, draw two cards. Use a power. Um. 
guess we'll run out the Razor Ordinance. Okay. Alright, so we can lose to the odds again, but we need to get some damage into the Wraith. Okay. Well, how rude is... Oh, wait, I have another one of these in my hand. All right. Oh, yeah, stealth will do that. Oh, but everything's taking it, so... Okay, so once again, we're now into uh, losing to the odds territory, but we have to find a way to get through an odd amount of damage to Wraith, uh, which means I don't, I do want to galvanize. Oh my gosh. All oh, right. That's not going to do it. Um, let's bolster. See if we can draw something that'll get us out of this. Yeah, Thawking Wraith would be the right move, oh, wouldn't it? Hold on. Let's, let's try this again. So don't galvanize, Thawk Wraith instead. Yep, there's Thawk. Okay. So we're not going to galvanize. However, Maya, get out of the way! Nope, I don't want to thock him. I want to thock her. Why is Galvanize still turned on? I didn't Galvanize. Oh, from last turn. No, wait, that doesn't make any sense. Let's try this again. Skip. Why is Galvanize still on? I didn't use Galvanize. All right, fine. You know what? No, forget it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try it again. We're just gonna Galvanize. Work? Yes, it worked, okay. So we'll just, we'll just do the hammy attack. Go a little bit more heavy handed than we, we expect it to be. Um. Now is this, does this go for his turn as well? No, this is just hero turns. Okay, so gotta be careful on that one. Um, but everybody else is just gonna skip skip here. Yeah. Trying to win off losing to the odds is, is really bizarre. Okay, come on. Nothing bad, nothing bad. Yep, yep, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. At the end of the environment turn, reveal the top card. Uh, nope. Uh, yep. Yep. It's fine. Okay, wagelings, yeah, that, that's the thing. That does happen. Oh, man. Alright, so we don't get it here. Oh, wait, deal themselves damage. Which means there's, there's still a galvanize in play. Which means we are fine. Oh wait, 
Hurrah for that extra galvanize. Uh, she's, as long as she's at even. Yep. Oh, roll the dice. <laughs> oh, it's wagelings. Oh, gosh. All right. And we did it. <laughs> in a fit of rage, Wager Master opens a portal in the back of the Freedom Tower, sucking Bunker and Legacy through it. Where did you send my friend? S speeds Tachyon up as the blue meanie disappears. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Well, that certainly was a thing. All right. Well, uh, you know that was that was fun. Uh, I, I enjoyed trying to put that win together. So I really hope you guys enjoyed tonight's broadcast of Tales from the Archive on Handle Arbor Games. If you liked what you saw, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and share our channel both on social media and in person. You can follow Handle Arbor on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, as well as Handle Arbor Games here on Twitch. If you want to see more content from me, including the Adjacent Hex podcast and the occasional sketch comedy video, facebook.com forward slash another letdown is the place to be for that. If you have some story submissions for me to tackle or just want to say hi, hit me up on Twitter. My name is at D-E-N-O-N-C-Z-D. You can also use the newly created Google form linked in the show notes uh, to submit stories. I also do live streams of other video games. Uh, that's primarily Gears of War, but we are looking to add content very soon. Just got to get out of grading season at the school, and uh, we should have that set up very, very soon for you. Uh, the team, my team's channel is twitch.tv forward slash another letdown. Sentinels of the Multiverse is currently available for iOS, Android, and PC, Mac, and Linux via Steam, and as always, in good old-fashioned cardboard and ink. You can get the game and more information at sentinelsdigital.com. As always, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. You guys are the best audience on Twitch. Have a wonderful week, and I will talk to you next Sunday.